Hey guys, we're here playing New Jinteki ID Industrial Genomics up against some Kate deck. Don't know much about it. And this hand is pretty reasonable. We can gift, subliminal, and knowledge is in hand to worry about. Nothing he really wants to kill that much. So for the R&D, what are we going to play? Probably the Aaron Boy. Surugi is expensive to start. The three net is kind of irrelevant a lot of the time. Whereas Aaron Boy would fill our hand up nice and early. Probably getting us some more money or some other things we want to get. Okay. Proco comes out. That's maybe a good sign for us. Lots of caprices. More than I really want. Let's bunker up in HQ for now. Can res business show next turn. Get a good draw. He's just setting up. Uh, let's keep Jackson. Double draw, really. Well, I guess we just do double business show. Kind of strange to see this many of them this early, but they are definitely useful. He's not going to kill them yet. Laundry the archives. Makes a lot of sense. We're a pretty slow deck. This Proco will give him good value for sure. This might mean he's playing like Grimoire and a lot of Parasite data suckers. I'm not really sure what that implies. Uh, Sundu, Aaron Boy, or Hedge Fund? Well, that's that's a tough one. I actually like a lot of these cards. I think I can't guard the Sundew that well yet. Uh, it's bugged with this. So I'll, I'll put the Sundew at the bottom. Move to bottom of our Indian stack. All right, so let's draw. Okay, Kamainu is good. Should keep him off the archives pretty decently. Quandary's good in the remote, so now if we get a Sunday next turn, we'll just be able to use that. Modded RDI, okay. Ooh, the Eli's are even better. He's probably playing Lady, but these are still pretty good. Uh, let's put the quandary out. I set the R and D a little bit. Is a third business show crazy? I kind of think it is. I'm just gonna overdraw. Should have done earlier, but all right. So ideal next turn is Nisei, Caprice, Advance. He's 18 credits, so he's probably going to be able to just... Ooh. Yeah, sure. He's going to pay one more to get rid of this. No, he's not. He's going to bounce off of it. Interesting strategy. The Ash is actually probably not the card it could be in this matchup. The Saruki is more what we want. Let's 
So the next turn we'll do a Nisei. Yeah, it's definitely all in Parasite Data Sucker style. So we have a lot of low strength ice. Could get ugly. E. Future project on the bottom. Gift is going to be nice shortly after this. Get rid of the pup. Uh, would you run if I put something out here? Probably not. Is the Caprice worth it out here? Uh, again, probably not. I think I should get the Nisei out the door, and then I can defend R&D more heavily. There's not enough tax here to make the Caprice overly good. It's going to not do anything for a while. Cool. Here from the bottom, I think Sundew. No, I think the Eli is still better than the Sundew. I'm doing okay for money right now. Score the Nisei. Yep. I uh, should be at 14. Is he playing Lady? That's the big question, because if he's playing Lady, this Eli is not nearly as good, and the second one is definitely no good. No, he's playing Corroder. That's... Yeah. Derp, derp. He's not going to get a Lady when he has already his Corroder out. So this is kind of a new addition. I'm not that thrill with it so far. It's been really just okay most of the time. He's gonna break it though, which is pretty nice. So it's got three subs. Yeah, that could not have gone better for us. I'm gonna burn the Jackson. We're gonna send back Hedge Gift. And you know what? The business show, why not? Want to dilute the deck a little bit because there's a lot of them in there. There's still eight and 32, so he's like one and four to hit here. So big luck for us that he didn't hit there. But we are going to. Uh, make fresh cards for him all the time with these business shows. Uh, I can't actually res this right now because it's expensive. But I will res the quandary, protecting the caprice for later. Uh, quandary is maybe good. Is it? Maybe Sundew's better. Maybe Hedge is better. It's gonna be one of those games where just Hedge is always the best thing to do. So play gift. And he sees the stuff. Nothing to see here. If I put Caprice here, I can do Pretty annoying tax, but I might lose. Or I can guarantee him paying four more. Let's try Caprice, since the other one's not rezzed yet. And then I can use the token if I really feel like it. If I lose the side game. Just need to stop the R&D lock. That's the plan. Uh, He has a lot of sucker tokens, just let him go in here. But it's six credits, it's expensive. Nope, come on in. Yep, 
Yeah, there's Parasite. This is actually great for us because we're going to be able to install our ELI without having to pay as much extra credits. Ooh, the booth is potentially nice, but so is the third Eli. Yeah, I think we're going to keep the third Eli because all the Elis are good. Throw that out. Here's Eli. Eli is annoying to you. Stack the third Eli. Yeah, he's got 19 credits. Let's see those credits burn. So it's a little bit dicey here because he's got so many credits. But this quandary may hold up. Yep, it's that server, the Triple Eli against Croder. He's like, peace out, I'm done. <laughs> so expensive for him. Uh, yeah, we don't have the money to res that, so he can trash our Jackson. We've got a spare. Does he run again? No, he's going to parasite the Eli. Yep, parasites all day. <coughs> NAPD is not the worst. We gotta score sooner or later because we're just gonna get ground down with these parasites otherwise. Yeah, so sadly we're gonna get our Eli killed. It's me. So we're gonna pay one. Yep, knocks him out. Perfect. Now we're too poor to really use our Nisei, so I'm going to take another hedge fund. Okay, and we'll get back in the money. This does cost them quite a bit, so pretty happy if he trashes this. He doesn't have infinite money, he just comes from the Proco, basically. So once he's spent a lot of his burst economy, he has like a slow trail coming in from the Proco. He leaves it there. Interesting. All right, now... We're gonna need this in the remote sooner or later. I'm gonna res it. I don't think it's worth removing the R&D Caprice to get this one going. Um, I'm just gonna let him get his stuff. So we didn't have any cards in the archives, but we can't really afford the commodity anyway, so the current problem is not enough econ. Maybe the Sun News would have been better. Hmm, not sure. But he's low on money now. And there's a Sun Dew. Let's get some cards. Not those cards. Oh, Jesus. 
Well, that was bad. Yep, poor life choices by me. Forgot just how many points there were still in the R&D. That was very foolish of me. Oops. <sighs> Messed up my automation. Yeah, at 12 cards, he's gonna levy pretty soon. Have a gigantic stack of cards. I think Resonance earlier was probably right. The sheer amount of parasites is a huge nuisance against this deck. Lucky pull from him, you got the one and five. Um, didn't think he'd get that. Wins the game. That's too bad. So just a huge fail by me drawing with Jackson. I think that was well within our grasp to win. We were gonna, we're gonna get flooded even more. We could have bought him most of these. Yeah. It's a big misplay. ID didn't do much this game. Early on, I let these survive a little bit longer, which is probably... Did it? I can't remember if we even had stuff in the archives for most of the game. But yeah. That extra draw of cards at Jackson, very wrong. And also bad luck. He won the 1 in 5 and then the 1 in 3. Both random, so 1 in 15 for that to happen. That's Netrunner, it happens. Thanks for watching.